Hello everyone, this is Ashley from the Speedway Public Library, and today I'm going to do a quick rundown on Gale Courses. Gale Courses is a six week long uh, course that begins every month that you can take using your library card. They have multiple different classes, and each one is led by an instructor, and it is all entirely online. Now, to get to the Gale Courses site, you're going to have to go through our library page. You can access our library page by going to speedway.lib.in.us and scrolling down to the right-hand side. Over here, we have some of the different courses that we offer, uh, some of the services, including Hoopla, Overdrive, Mango, um, and then this one right here is the one we are looking at, Gale Courses. When you click on that, it's going to take you to that Gale course homepage. Now, you won't be able to sign in unless you have already made an account. Um, it won't ask you to make an account until you are enrolling in a course. And we'll do a quick rundown of that afterwards. Um, over here on the left-hand side, we have the main um, subjects that they have courses on. Um, accounting and finance, business, computer applications, design and composition, healthcare and medical, language and arts, law and legal, personal development, teaching and education, technology, writing and publishing. Um, if you click on each of those, it'll also bring up a second tab that shows additional programs that fall under that. So for like accounting and finance, there's you know personal finance and accounting fundamentals. Computer applications is where you'll find those Microsoft Office programs. Design and composition has some of the Adobe software such as um, Photoshop and Illustrator. There's also um, how to do your own websites under web design. There's also graphic design. Um, healthcare and medical has health information management, also things for alternative medicine. Language arts, we have a couple different languages that are offered, such as Speed Spanish, um, Spanish for the classroom, um, as well as grammar for ESL and conversational Japanese. Under personal development, there's uh, courses on job searches, on uh, starting your own business, personal enrichment, uh, technology. We have some of those certification preps, such as A Plus or Security Plus. Uh, there's also a Linux Essentials. Uh, you can also find security programs and web technology. And then under writing and publishing, we have that creative writing and that grant writing. So if you're really wanting to learn how to write a young adult novel or a mystery novel, you can find those under creative writing. So each of these, if you click on one, we're going to go ahead and go into creative writing. We'll then also give a full list of all of the courses that fall under that. So again, again, for example, under creative writing, we have screenwriting, we have uh, keys to effective editing, research methods, mystery writing, advanced fiction writing, uh, publishing and selling your eBooks, romance writing, and there's a total of 24 results for that. Writing essentials, nonfiction, journaling, beginners workshop. And then if you look under each of these, it tells you that the courses are 24 hours. Um, that is their estimation of how long it takes total for you to go through these six-week courses. And doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to take you a full 24 hours, but that is their estimation of time. Um, you also have the start dates. So each program, each course um, starts each month, um, generally around the middle of the month. So, for example, the next starting date is going to be the 15th. Now, if you don't you know, get on the computer or jump on the, this website until let's say April 17th, that is completely fine. Usually they leave them up for a week or so um, after that initial start date before you have to then wait for the next one. So let's go ahead, we're gonna do this beginners writer, beginning writers workshop. So to begin, you just click enroll now and choose which start date you are wanting. Once you have selected one, we'll just go ahead and go with the 15th since that is upcoming. So then it is going to start you on registering for Gale courses. Um, so I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to make an account since I personally already have one. Um, but it is generally pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to put in your email address and click create new account. 
And then let's see, there's actually an instructions on the first page. Um, you're going to put your yeah, email, click create accounts, and then complete the account and student uh, student information page, which is on the next page. And that one, you're just putting in you know your name, address, um, information. Then you're going to click continue. And after that, it's going to ask you then for your library card. So please remember when you're putting in your library card, that is going to be the entire card, no spaces. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember whether or not it asks for a PIN number, but if it does, the PIN is going to be that last four numbers of your card number. Make sure that you are including that individual number at the very, very end in that last four. Once you have done that, it will pop up a screen that shows all those different um, lessons within that course. Um, you will notice that some of them are locked. Um, that is because they only open up two lessons per week. That's what keeps it at a six week long course. So usually that is Monday and Wednesdays. Um, but once that second one opens on Wednesday, you're able to do both lessons. Um, you can skip a week if you need and do you know, four lessons the following week. That is completely up to you. Um, their main thing, as it says down here, if you have enrolled in a course, you must log in and view the lessons um, one and two within 13 days after that start date um, or else it will drop you from the course. Um, it, dropping you from the course just means you're not taking it and you would have to re-enroll to do it again. Um, but that is the basics of Gale courses. Um, I have personally taking, taken the conversational Japanese and the beginning sign language courses, and I found them to be very helpful. Um, it's all very uh, hands-on with studying. Um, you kind of have to do a lot of it yourself, but they have discussion um, groups where you can talk to the professor, talk to the other students, and really, you know, get help with something that you're not understanding. Um, they're there for each lesson. Um, if you have any questions about Gale courses, feel free to comment on this video or message us on Facebook or even send us an email through the contact form on our website. Um, we're always willing to help with this um, and just let us know if you need anything. Thanks and have a great day.